Hi guys. Just think about this, ready? When you hear three, two, one, take off. What comes to your mind? Rockets, right? Really cool rocket ships that fly into outer space, maybe going to the moon or rovers going on Mars. Now, some of you are thinking, oh my gosh, what's this guy doing? There's no way we're gonna be able to make a rocket at home. But the reality is, you can. And believe it or not, when I tell you how we're about to make a rocket, you can make hundreds of them. And all I need is paper, a scissor, scotch tape, and a straw. And I'm gonna make a really awesome rocket. And I know you're saying, wait a minute, but it's not gonna be able to fly. Oh no, it will fly, and it will fly high into the sky. Ready? Check this out. Step one, regular paper. Computer paper, okay? And the fun part of this is, and we'll get into this a little later, is you could change your rocket to try to, to get it to travel further. But I'm gonna start with the basic rocket, okay? And I'm gonna make my rocket five inches high. Now, to make it easy, you wanna create a square. And if you all know that squares have four equal sides, so you wanna make it five inches by five inches by five inches by five inches. And this is my five inch square. I'm gonna make the template of my rocket. Now I'm gonna to need to make a circle, which will eventually be the pointy cone part. And think about it, a cup, put it down, trace your circle. And that's done. Now I'm gonna make the wings to my rocket. And what I'm gonna do is create a triangle that's gonna be two inches by one inch, just connect the dots, my wings are done. How simple is that, okay? So, I'm gonna make two inches by one inch and just connect the two corners and here we go. And I'm gonna do it twice so that my rocket will have a pair of wings. And the wings are gonna be needed to help it cut through the air, okay? You want your rocket to be really aerodynamic. You want it to be able to cut through the air really fast. The more aerodynamic it is, the further it's gonna go. And now, this is all I need to make my rocket. I'm telling you, this rocket will fly 30 feet maybe. Ready? Next step, cut out the square. If you're not good at cutting, take your time, but you really want your rocket, okay, to have a nice body. So I cut out my square. And this, I would say, is probably the hardest part, okay? I always like having my tape pre-cut because I'm gonna have to fold now. And if you fold it and you're holding it, how are you gonna cut out your tape? If you were an octopus with eight hands, it would be okay. But you're not an octopus with eight hands. So what I'm gonna do is pre-cut this now, my pencil. Take my pencil, I'm gonna take my paper. And I'm going to wrap the paper around the pencil so tightly that the pencil is gonna be stuck inside. Ready, take, and roll, roll. Roll it, roll it all around. You have this. Pencil doesn't wanna fall out, but there's hardly any friction. Twist it, twist it, twist it. Two smooth surfaces, not a lot of friction. It comes out. Make your body even. Take a piece of tape, tape one. Tape two, and tape three. I now made the body to my rocket. Okay, kind of looks like a straw. Spitball, no, not a spitball, don't do it. Body to my rocket. Now, I'm gonna make the cone. But I'm gonna make a little, little dot in the center of my circle. And I'm just gonna make a little triangle, okay? Sort of like a piece of the pie maybe one eighth the size of the circle, okay? Now I'm gonna cut out the circle. Actually, I kind of lied. I said that making the cylinder or the body of the rocket was probably the hardest part. I actually, I think this is gonna be the hardest part, okay? But if you watch, you'll be able to do it. Now, I'm gonna take the circle and cut out the piece of the pie. I do not need the piece of the pie. I need that, okay? And now watch what I'm about to do. I'm gonna take it, okay? And I'm gonna make a cone. I'm gonna put this down, put this down. Right now it kinda looks like a teepee or a really cool hat. But I'm gonna 
take this and I'm just gonna twirl it and keep twirling it around my fingers, keep twirling it and you keep doing it until eventually it just gets so tight around your finger that it became a really cool, tight cone. Now I'm gonna take a piece of tape and tape it down. Now it kind of looks like an ice cream cone. What would you do if mommy gave you ice cream on a cone like that, right? You wouldn't want it. So now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it on top. But it just looks a little too flimsy. I made it a little too big if that happens. Just cut a small piece like this, put it on top. Now think about how pointy this is. This will cut through the air, okay? The way a knife can cut through butter. And now I'm gonna tape this down. Now, take it and tape. And my rocket is almost done. Tape both sides and then what I would do is actually test this, okay? You wanna make sure that your cone is airtight. So, just blow into it. No air, your rocket's almost done. Now I'm gonna add my wings, okay? Now the cool part about this experiment is, later, when you make it and you fly it, if you're not happy with how far your rocket went, or if you're not happy with how high your rocket went, the beauty of science is, okay, you can change things. You can change how big your rocket is. You could change the wing shape. Maybe make a square wing. You could change the wing size. You could change the wing number. There are so many variables that you can change to try to get the rocket to go further. You'll be here for hours making rockets. Now, I'm gonna add my wings, and you still have no clue. You still have no clue as to how we're gonna get this rocket to fly. But watch. Add my wing, wing one. Add my wing, wing number two. And now, my rocket is ready for liftoff. Watch. Straw. This would be my rocket holder. And let's do a countdown and watch it take off. Ready? Count with me. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take off! Did you really expect it to take off? It can't take off. What does it need? It needs a force. Everything on earth that moves needs a force. Now some of you are saying, oh man, we don't have an engine. But you do. Your lungs. Check this out. Look at my chest. Breathe the air out. Your lungs get smaller. But the more air you put, the more power you give your rocket ship. The more air you put, I'm gonna blow all of the air out of my mouth into the straw. It's gonna hit the rocket. The air cannot escape. It's gonna create so much pressure. The air is gonna to have to find a way out and your rocket is gonna fly. But now these are really pointy, okay? Extremely pointy. You don't wanna do this at home. You can have your little brother and sister running around and you can poke them. So you gotta make sure that no one's around or you can make sure you do this outside, but you can test it. Watch, put it in, vary the force, small force. Let's see how far it goes. Maybe I'll just shoot it up first so you guys can see a small force. Ready? Boink. And if you did a harder force, it could actually move across the room. Ready? And if you go outside, you can just challenge yourself. Every time you do it, put a marker on the floor. Okay? And you can say, wow, and you can measure it. Measure it in your feet size, one feet, two feet. It went 10 of my shoe sizes, okay? Then you say to yourself, wow, man, it only went 15 shoe sizes. I really wanted it to go 30. Well, go back home. Change one thing on your rocket. Maybe you can make it smaller. Maybe if it's smaller, it weighs less. I'm not gonna tell you what makes the rocket go further. That's the science. You ask a question, make your prediction, you test it, and then you get your results and see what happened. And that's our awesome paper rocket.